I want to speak about something that um, caught my attention on one of Gully TV's videos. And first of all, I want to preface this video by saying that I'm a huge fan of Gully TV. I think that he does very excellent work in the street urban lane. I wish he would branch out and do stories that portray black people in a more positive light. He's so hyper fixated on killings, murders, and these notorious crews from the 90s and early 2000s. I wish he would just in infuse a little positivity in there because, yeah, everybody loves a good gangster story, cowboy story, but at the end of the day, you don't want that to be 100% of the energy that you're transmitting out there into the universe because the byproduct of emphasizing the murderers, the, the, the murders, the self-genocidal crews, and these guys who are just popular for killing other black people, is you're, you're creating this energy that that's a precedent that's good. You're, you're, you're creating a framework that is going to influence other people to feel like that's legendary, that's historical. No, that's interesting, it's entertaining, but at the same time, that's something that we need to aspire not to be. Because if you look at his comment section... Oh, that's wonderful. These guys are legends, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. These guys are, hopefully, have changed their lives and repented for causing so much destruction to their own people. But these are stories to teach you the pitfalls. And where I'm going with this is, Gully TV went to the island of Antigua to interview a guy named Six Seven. And he was a member of the Murder Unit crew, which is a crew from the Bronx that associated with the rapper Nori as his muscle. Eventually, they all went to prison, died, or got deported. And this particular guy has been deported from New York to Antigua. And Gully TV actually traveled out there to Antigua. And the reason why I'm making this video is because Gully TV said something that made me upset. And this is, is, this is going to separate the men from the boys. I can disagree with what he said and still like him. Just because I disagree with a statement doesn't mean I disagree with him. So if you're mad at me for disagreeing with him, then you're stupid. But Gully TV was at this very scenic view on the island with 6 7 and he was saying, man, they sent you here, you know, they deported you here as punishment, but to me, this is paradise. And the guy that he was interviewing, 6-7, is telling him, I'd rather be in New York in, in the winter. I'd rather be in a snowstorm in New York than here. He's telling him, I don't want to be on this island. I understand it's beautiful and all of that, but you don't live here. This is your first time here, and you, of course, it's a beautiful view, but I hate it here, and I want to leave. And that's the problem. You know, and Gully thinks that he, and, and Gully had the nerve to say, in America, they paint the Caribbean islands as being these uncivilized places and blah, blah, blah. And that's, that, I, I, I don't know what he's talking about because I haven't seen anything like that. Every time Gully, you know, when, Gully, when, when black people say things like that, they're just talking without really having any evidence. I doubt Gully has ever seen a document documentary or any footage on on the news that actually said straight up, the Caribbean islands are dirty, stupid, and uncivilized. I think that we somehow come up with these things in our mind, even though we've never actually heard anybody say that. We assume that they say that because, of course, everybody's against black people. Everybody's racist. But that's a whole other story. Get some pride and get some confidence, Gully. Stop being a victim. But basically, I just want to say that Gully TV is a part of the problem because what did he do? He came to the island as a novelty act, just like... You know, you go to the carnival and the carny, he has a cage with a sheet over it, and everybody's waiting to see what's next, what's going to be under that sheet. Oh, ha, look. And that's what he did. He had the murder unit documentary, and he decided to go to Antigua because he knew that would be exotic footage. And my thing is this, the guy is telling you that his life is messed up. 6-7 is saying that life is tough for him ever since he got deported. Antigua has 99,000 citizens. 99,000. Basically, let's say um, Woodstock, New York, a little country town is bigger than the island. Syracuse, New York is about five times, ten times, twenty times bigger than the island. And um, it's not that America is holding these Caribbean islands back. If it weren't for Americans of all races, black, white, Asian, visiting these islands and giving them tourist dollars, they would really be in trouble. So I just don't like the idea that people are saying, oh, America treats the Caribbean as uncivilized. No, Americans travel there a lot and help their economy. 
the people of the Caribbean islands are ruining their own island because just like the guy six seven in Gully's documentary, he doesn't want to be there. They want to leave. So imagine you got an island like Antigua with only ninety nine thousand people, and all the creative people, smart people, intelligent people, forward thinking people, mechanical people, people who are able to come up with bright ideas, great ideas, people who are able to contribute to society, leave and go to Canada, America, Europe. And they just tell their island to kiss their ass. They're never coming back. That's the reason why the Caribbean is messed up. It's the same reason why black communities in America is messed up. Despite the fact that a lot of the rich black people in America have come from normal neighborhoods, when they get successful, they don't go back. They don't reinvest. They take their money and they invest it in, you know, you know, if they open up a yogurt store, they're going to open a yogurt store up in the commercial suburban white upper class area they're not going to put the shop in the hood where they come from and that mentality is why the caribbean island is the way that it is even the jamaican dance hall artists they get successful they move to america and like i said gully i mean if you really have a problem with the way that the caribbean islands are why didn't you give that guy a couple thousand dollars with five thousand dollars in antigua you can open up about 10 different businesses so for gully to say that we as Americans, and I consider myself an American, view the islands as uncivilized and we're the reason why they're downtrodden. No, you're the reason why they're downtrodden because people like you, they go to the island, they say, oh, it's so beautiful. And you, you snap your little pictures, get your little nice views over the cliffs, look, looking at the ocean. And you bring it back, you edit it, and you put it into your documentary so that you can have some exotic footage. Just like that car carnival guy lifting the sheet of the cage to shock the audience. Oh, look, look, look at what I got. It's a, it's a novelty. You didn't invest in the island when you went there. If you felt so strongly about that, why didn't you invest a couple dollars, give it to 6-7, and open up a little clothing shop, and you could import clothes to him. It's an island of 99,000 people. $5,000, you could have helped them start a restaurant, clothing store, a, a, a taxi company. So my whole thing is, you know, um, it, it bothered me. You know, I like Gully. Like I said, I'm disagreeing with his perspective. I'm not disagreeing with him. And I'm going to continue to support his content. So I just hope you guys are mature enough to understand that you can have 100% respect and like somebody and disagree with something that they've said. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I want people to understand. You can't keep blaming people for your problems. Nobody is causing anybody to be unsuccessful. If you got an island with 99,000 people and everybody who's smart and, and, and people who could actually make the island successful move away to Canada, Europe. I mean, people, I mean, look at it. I mean, I know people from India in America who are so desperate to not go back that they give up their citizenship. And they don't care because they don't want to go back. So don't blame. And, and India is in the same shape. They don't even have enough toilets for their citizens. So don't make this like it, it's somebody's fault. It's nobody's fault. That's the reality. When people get rich, they don't give a damn about where they come from, especially black people. So Gully, I encourage you to keep it real and offer the full perspective in your next video. Don't just make it like it's white people's fault or it's, you know, just keep it real. And maybe things will change. Peace.